Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I have for you the fourth and last part of Lightworker Homework 4, Activate Your Central Vertical Power Current, Your Kundalini. This section is titled on maintaining the body of light. I personally find it helpful in maintaining my body of light in a whole and harmonic way to listen in on others of the light workers in my blog, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com is a page that you can reach by surfing to the word counselors, C-O-U-N-S-E-L-O-R-S. -E the full title of the page is Ascension Resources, Counselors, Channelers, Astro-Geophysical Data, and more. Referrals by Alice B. Claggett. That contains quite a few links that will be helpful to you in networking with the Lightworker community. In addition to the counselors and Lightworkers and events and teachers mentioned on that page are quite a few more light workers um, who can be found by surfing online. Some really excellent light workers there as well. You will find those that resonate the most with your own teachings and your own approach and I suggest just staying in touch with them if you can support them a little financially that's always terrific because Light worker work is mostly pro bono. It's mostly just from the yearning of the soul to reach out to other souls and do, do one's best to help shine a light on their path that they must take, which is always somewhat dark and rocky here on Earth and because of the duality show. So we may help those, those others, those others among us who, who may be str struggling more than we. Um, by offering um, verbal support, by listening in on their communications online and otherwise, by, if we can, offering a little bit of financial support here and there, even a small amount is helpful, I feel. And, and just by being a good friend, at least through the heart, and that's the most important thing, to, to feel that connection with the other light workers, way shores, pathfinders, and healers that exist here at this time on earth during this glorious process of ascension. So that's my final suggestion is once you've done all the work, once you've done your best to, to clarify your body of light so that you can uh, best use your ascension gifts and tools, then you'll want to, to maintain your good spirits and the good spirits of the others who share your yearning to spread the light here on earth. Um, and I think that will help. If you're feeling a little down, you can help them by sending a cheerful thought their way. And if they're feeling a little down, they may find support in their friends and fellow light workers as well. So now to summarize what I've spoken to you about in Light Worker Homework 4. At the very beginning, part one was divided into four separate sections showing in great detail the energetic array that you have as a light worker and human being, including the four minds, the 18 chakras, the subtle bodies, and the bridges, so that you could get just a visual picture of what it is that you have to work with as a light worker here in human form. Next, there was a section on how we humans may communicate with the star nations, including channeling light through the languages of sound and light, channeling light through the eyes, and channeling light through spontaneous mudras. Then there was an explanation how the star nations, the peoples of the star nations, exist, each within its own bandwidth of dimensional vibrations, and how we humans may synchronize our dimensional vibrations with those of other star beings by concentrating our divine awareness on a particular chakra in our chakric array. 
Our chakras are portals or stargates through which we may speak with our star brethren. Our awareness is a tool that opens the doorway to each dimension. Then we have the greater activation of the central vertical power current or kundalini because of, because of the ascension process and because the transpersonal chakras come online. So we have portals and stargates above the human body as well as within the human body. We can communicate, because of that, we can communicate with a greater variety of star beings, especially Christed star beings. Next, there was the homework assignment, which is quite in-depth, and it has to do with going to my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, and checking out especially the Kundalini Yoga section and all its subheadings. But in addition, those meditations, visualizations, mudras, kriyas, prayers, and blessings, and so forth, that, that I channeled for you. And so there are four separate sections there. The first, Kundalini Yoga being the most weighty. Um, and you'll find when you get to the Kundalini Yoga section that there are quite a few references to 3HO or Healthy Happy Holy Organization in that website. HTTPS colon slash slash www.3HO.org and that is because they're the organization that I learned from and you have to go to them for the basics before you can get a few little finishing Phillips and twists and turns from me, a few more additions. Then the last thing in this homework assignment was the wrap up on maintaining the body of light and the importance of networking with other light workers. So, um, so that's it for now, dear ones. I wish you all the best. In, in the coming solar cycle. I wish you the very w most wonderful of times. And, and may you be blessed. May you be protected. May you be completely clear. And may you have the most wonderful of times this time around. And who knows what else you may find by way of star gifts and star tools to help with your mission on earth. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days.